observation hockey, foresight, all different terms used to explain the same thing in anime and manga. And that same thing that all these different verbiages are explaining is future sight, or a character's ability to see into the future, whether it be a couple of seconds or years at a time. And the necessity to separate the names between these different universes makes a lot of sense, because future sight is one of the most used tropes in anime today. And you don't want to look like you're stealing from others. And the reason that future sight is so common in modern day anime is because it's kind of awesome. Whether you're Aki using a contract with the future devil to see a couple of seconds into the future at a time to dodge blades and devil attacks, or the great toad sage in Naruto dozing off and having dreams of a long off future, being able to know what's gonna happen before it happens will forever play. Which is probably why Kishimoto is giving it to Boruto. Now, a lot of you probably just reeled back and said, <laughs> What do you mean, Nick? Listen, I understand that Boruto came back from the time skip a whole lot stronger with his Rasengan Uzuhiko and his flying Raijin, but future sight? Let's chill out on that. But if you want me to chill out on that, you're gonna have to ask Kishimoto to chill out on that because I'm not the one writing the story. And over the course of Boruto's entire story, Kishimoto has been dropping hints left and right about the possibility of Boruto one day getting future sight. And one can make the argument that the second that Boruto became Momoshiki's vessel, the idea of him one day seeing the future was all but cemented. And the hints that Boruto can see into the future and has already done it at a high level are getting more and more obvious in Two Blue Vortex by the chapter. But maybe that's only to people like me who read every single chapter five times to make sure that I pick up on every singular minute detail. And thus today, I wanna to take a step out of my own head and talk about what I believe to be obvious. Because recently, I've been getting a whole lot of emails from people saying, oh, I think Boruto might have the ability to see into the future. Something I thought we all agreed upon months ago. So today, I wanna to go over every single one of the hints that Kishimoto has dropped over the course of Boruto and Two Blue Vortex to make it fully clear to you that Boruto not only will know how to use Future Sight, but has already mastered it. And the mastery of that Future Sight is allowing for Boruto to be much more in the know and even we know. Or, you know, instead of Future Sight, Boruto is a time-traveling version of Shibai that has now returned to the past to stop himself from turning into Shibai. But, you know, it could also be Future Sight. Though I'm aware that both of these options seem kind of insane, let me remind you that Kishimoto is fully writing Boruto with the intention of making Naruto more sci-fi. And time travel has already been confirmed to exist in anime canon arcs. So nothing that I'm saying right now technically falls out of the realm of possibility for the Boruto universe. That's why it is currently the most exciting time it's ever been to be a Boruto fan. The Boruto really does know the future. What does that mean for the future that he's building? Why does he keep bumbling at all these different impasses? Does he know everything that will happen? Does he know all the different possible endings for these different scenarios he's seen inside of his head? Or was the future that he became privy to similar to how the great Toad Sage was able to see a hazy version of the future that involved the child of prophecy? Well, today we're gonna answer all those questions and a whole lot more. But first guys, please, for me, like this video, subscribe to the page, and hit that noti bell. And if you like the idea of me predicting the abilities of main characters from popular manga, then you're gonna love my other channel, The Weeb Commander, where instead of talking about Naruto and Boruto, I talk all other anime and manga. And if you just like the idea of me talking anime and manga, you're gonna love my anime podcast, Who Talks Anonymous, where me and Danny Mata break down everything that happens in anime and manga this week. It's available on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. And if you just wanna look like somebody who keeps up with all things anime and manga, go ahead and meander on over into my merch store, TakuZanonymous.net, where you can pick up some of the greatest anime t-shirts, sweatshirts, and sticker packs known to man. See, there are a lot of questions that are left lingering in the Boruto universe, and most of them revolve around our main character, Boruto. What does his Jogon do? How did he know that Code was augmenting the Tentails? Is Momoshiki ever going to cooperate with him and so much more? The beauty of all of these questions is that most of them can actually be answered simply by believing that Boruto can see into the future. But if I've taught you one thing and one thing alone on this channel, it's important to always ask how. How are we able to come to this conclusion? How are we able to guess that Boruto has future sight? Well, in order to answer the hard questions, we gotta answer the easy ones first. So where and how would Boruto acquire future sight? Well, to answer that question, you have to look no further 
than Momoshiki. See, while it's never been downright confirmed that Momoshiki has the ability to peer into the future, over the course of the manga, Momoshiki has said a myriad of suspicious things that point us in the direction of belief that Momoshiki can look into the future. It'd be like me saying that I'm not wearing pants right now, and then for the rest of this video, I kept making allusions to the fact that I'm not wearing pants. And while technically you couldn't prove if I was or was not wearing pants, the fact that I was saying it so often kind of makes it feel like I'm not. And this is the issue with trying to prove things, especially in the anime community. Unless something is explicitly laid out for us, we can't necessarily say this is reality. But the first piece of evidence we do have to possibly prove that Momoshiki can peer into the future happens when Naruto, Sasuke, and Boruto are battling against fused Momoshiki, who mid-battle activates his Byakugan and peers upon Boruto. And it's at this moment that he yells that Boruto has quite the interesting fate lying ahead of him. And while some take this moment, as undeniable proof that when Momoshiki looks at somebody with both of his Byakugan activated that he can see their future, I rally against that sentiment a little bit. Because while that is technically a possibility, it's also an equal possibility that Momoshiki was using his Byakugan to read Boruto's chakra signature. And upon reading Boruto's chakra signature, Momoshiki was able to deduce that Boruto had the Jogon, or even just an interesting chakra signature, one that could possibly denote that down the line, Boruto would be a person of great importance. And since that's literally how the Byakugan works, I find it hard to say in this moment that Momoshiki was actually looking into Boruto's future. But this isn't the only time that Momoshiki yells at Boruto about his fate, because just a couple of chapters later, when Momoshiki was killed by Boruto, Momoshiki and Boruto have a little astral conversation, during which Momoshiki says, and I'm going to read this directly, now I understand. You have strongly inherited the power of the Otsutsuki. However, you are still inexperienced. You cannot see through your own destiny. I can see through your destiny very clearly. Aware. Those blue eyes shall eventually take everything from you. And know this, those who defeat gods cannot remain ordinary individuals. Reflect well upon thy fate as you proceed in life, human child. Now, this pretty definitively shows, at least in this moment, that Momoshiki is able to peer into Boruto's fate. But once again, does this necessarily mean that Momoshiki can see Boruto's future? Who's to say? As Momoshiki could just simply have a good feeling that he understands where Boruto's life is heading, based off the thousands of years that he's lived and the knowledge that he has about Shinjutsu and the Jogon. And since at this moment, Momoshiki is sure that Boruto is the inheritor of the Jogon, and the fact that Momoshiki is incredibly prideful could lead to Momoshiki proclaiming that he knows exactly what's gonna happen in Boruto's life. But Momoshiki stating twice in the course of a couple of chapters that he knows exactly what's gonna happen to Boruto's fate is a pretty strong indicator that Momoshiki has some semblance of future sight. And Momoshiki doesn't stop it twice. In fact, in chapter 80, when Momoshiki realizes that Sasuke was able to break out of Ada's omnipotence through the help of Sarada, Momoshiki begins to panic and scream at Boruto, yelling at him to give in to the hopelessness of the situation, demanding him to hand over his body to Momoshiki to control. However, Boruto's mental fortitude and Sasuke being on his side allows for Boruto to not give in to this despair. And when Momoshiki realizes that he won't be able to take over Boruto's body, he says that it wasn't supposed to go this way, implying that Boruto is now deviated from the path that he saw using his future sight. And those are just the times that Momoshiki said something that indicated he had some semblance of future sight, as Momoshiki, or possibly Boruto, through the channeling of Momoshiki's powers, has seen the future at least twice, and these are identifiable and completely confirmable events. Now, these two instances happen in differing pieces of source material, but both operate in the exact same sense. That is to say that both of these instances rely on the usage of the Jogon. See, the first instance of Boruto seeing the future through the usage of his Jogon happens in the time slip arc. Well, actually, it happens in the lead up to the time slip arc, when Boruto and Shinki are trying to get Shukaku to the Hidden Leaf. Boruto, while embroiled in a battle against Orishiki with Shinki, accidentally activates his Jogon, and through the power of this Jogon, he's able to see where Orishiki is going to pop out after Orishiki is using his Yamatsu Hirosaka. Now, for those of you who don't remember, Yamatsu Hirosaka is the core ability of all Otsutsukis. It's like the Uchiha with their great fireball technique. All Otsutsukis have the Yamatsu Hirosaka, which allows them to travel between dimensions. 
The first time we saw this technique was from Kaguya. And when Kaguya used this technique specifically against Sasuke and Naruto, Sasuke, through the power of his six Tomei Rinnegan, was able to predict where Kaguya was gonna pop out. But this isn't because Sasuke had future sight. No, this is because the six Tomei Rinnegan allowed for Sasuke to track Kaguya's chakra through dimensions. However, this is not how it works in Boruto's case. As Boruto's Jogon is showing him, in the past where Urashiki's portals are going to open in the future. But if you don't want to take the anime canon for its word, there is a moment in chapter 75 when Boruto, Kawaki, and Shikamaru are getting the rundown on Amado's daughter situation and how he implanted his daughter's information to Kawaki's karma seal that Momoshiki and Boruto's thoughts begin to meld, allowing for them to now discuss with each other inside of Boruto's head. See, prior to this moment, Momoshiki and Boruto had no formal means of communication. Momoshiki would simply take over Boruto's body, and while he was Boroshiki, he could talk and tell us what was going on inside of that crazy old body of Boruto's. However, because Kawaki killed Boruto, and Momoshiki had to give up the last 18% of his Otsutsufication process on Boruto to bring Boruto back to life to make sure that he didn't die, Boruto, now being a full-blooded Otsutsuki with Momoshiki inside of him, now had some kind of brain connection to Momoshiki that allows for them to communicate, which is how Momoshiki is able to yell at Boruto in chapters 79 and 8. But in this moment, when Momoshiki and Boruto's minds are melting for the first time. At the end of their conversation, Boruto's Jogon activates, and he sees the scene of himself running from the likes of Sage Mode Mitsuki, which would come around a couple of chapters later. Now, at the time, Boruto didn't understand what this scene meant, as he didn't know if he was the one being chased or the one doing the chasing in the scenario. He didn't even know if what he saw was reality. However, as it was revealed a couple of chapters later, where this exact scenario panned out, that Boruto, in that moment through the usage of the Jogon, saw his own future. Now this ties perfectly into what Momoshiki was saying earlier on in the story, that you have strongly inherited the will of the Otsutsuki, probably referencing Boruto's Jogon. However, you are still inexperienced. You cannot see your own destiny. Now in this moment, what Momoshiki was probably saying is that even though Boruto's fate was inexorably tied to the Otsutsuki through the fact that he was born with the Jogon, because he wasn't full Otsutsuki, he wouldn't be able to use that Jogon to see his own fate fate. But in this moment in chapter 75, when Boruto does see his own fate, his own future, Boruto is 100% Otsutsuki. And that's even a talking point brought up just a few panels prior to Boruto seeing his own future. As Mumushiki states that the reason that they're able to communicate now in Boruto's body is because he's full Otsutsuki. And since Kishimoto never does anything for nothing, bringing up the fact that Boruto is now 100% Otsutsuki again prior to him using a technique that he's never used before is possibly meant to hint at the fact that now that Boruto is 100% Otsutsuki, he can use the Jogon to peer into his own future. And therefore, in this moment in chapter 75, Boruto is actually awakening to his true power, future sight. And that statement is backed up by pretty much everything that happens in Two Blue Vortex. See, if you look at the events of Two Blue Vortex, literally at all, you'll realize that a whole lot of it is incredibly sus in that Borto knows way too much. In fact, that was even a talking point brought up by Shikamaru in chapter 8. As after Boruto and Shikamaru's relatively long conversation of Boruto revealing the truth of the world to Shikamaru, Shikamaru, mind you, the most intelligent person in the entire universe of Naruto, asked Boruto, how much do you really know? As Shikamaru probably correctly has a sneaking suspicion that Boruto knows more than he's telling. And if we look retroactively at everything that's happened over the last eight chapters of Two Blue Vortex, the idea that Boruto can see the future starts to make a lot of sense. Like for example, how did Boruto know that Code was going to attack Konoha? As pretty much as soon as Code pulled up in Konoha with his army of Claw Grimes, Boruto was there standing on his face, and while objectively this wasn't immediate, as there was a little bit of time where the likes of Kawaki and Saruta had to battle back against the Claw Grimes, it was just a matter of minutes before Boruto was able to react to what was supposed to be a surprise attack from Code. Now obviously one could argue that Boruto was watching Code's movements, but I'd like to remind you that Boruto had to place a toad on code so that Boruto could get to the Kara hideout. Now, this toad had a flying Raijin seal that allowed for Boruto to jump between dimensions to get to the Kara hideout, but the fact that Boruto had to do that means that Boruto had never been to the Kara hideout before, because flying Raijin seals last forever, unless placed on a ten-tailed Jinchuriki. Well, unless they're placed on somebody who becomes a ten-tailed Jinchuriki and then they disappear. 
That is the only circumstance in which a flying Raijin seal can be destroyed. And thus, if Boruto had ever been to the Kara hideout prior, he could have just hopped there with his flying Raijin seal. And since the majority of Code's actions happen to the Kara hideout where nobody else can get to, the idea that Boruto was keeping an eye on Code is kind of a stretch. On top of that, Boruto knew to place the toad on Code and follow him using said toad. And while you could say that it's ninja intuition that Boruto knew that an injured Code would try to get back to the Kara hideout to ride out this injury, and if it was just ninja intuition, then that's impressive. But that's not even the tip of the iceberg of the things that Boruto knew but shouldn't. See, beyond that, Boruto also knew that Code was augmenting the claw grimes, and he knew of the dangers that said augmented claw grimes could bring. As when he was fighting Code, he was telling him to destroy the claw grimes and the ten tails so that it could stop the impending way greater threat that was coming in the form of the Shinju. And while Boruto never outright says the Claw Grimes are going to bite people and turn into manifestations of Ten Tails, Boruto is implying that he understands that the Claw Grimes biting people is going to create a greater threat. And Boruto wants Code to get ahead of that greater threat. But there's no reason for Boruto to know this. Presumably, the battle we see between the Shinju and Boruto in Chapter 3, I believe, is the first battle they've ever had. As all the Shinju were presumably created simultaneously and like right before that moment, as Moegi had been bitten by a claw grime simply minutes prior to this fight. And yet in that fight between Boruto and the Shinju, Boruto knew to headhunt Hidari, as if Boruto understood what Hidari was and how killing Hidari could possibly save Sasuke. So how did Boruto know any of this? Was there another Shinju created prior to the creation of the four we have now that Boruto fought, defeated, and freed the person bitten by the claw grime of? Or did he know that all of this would happen because of his Jogon? And when Boruto was unsuccessful in the headhunting mission for Hidari, he returns to Kashin Koji and Tree Sasuke. And you know what Kashin Koji tells him in that moment? I'm not trying to console you. You already knew there was a high chance of this happening. But how? How did Boruto know that there was a high chance of him not being able to defeat Hidari? Well, you could chalk it up to the fact that Boruto somehow knew there was going to be four Shinju and therefore finding a chance to cut down Hidori in the midst of these four Shinju would be a real uphill battle, but that raises a myriad of different questions. Like, how did Boruto know there was going to be four Shinju? How did he know how strong the Shinju were going to be? The much simpler Occam's Razor explanation to this question is that Boruto had already seen all of this happen, but he was, through his actions, trying to change the future that he had seen. See, this also explains why Boruto knows that Sarada begged Shikamaru for years to see Boruto's innocence. See, because when Shikamaru becomes privy to the reality of omnipotence and the fact that his memories have been switched, Boruto tells him that this is how omnipotence works. That regardless of whether or not you're told of how omnipotence works, your brain is hardwired to not trust that information. Which is why even though Sarada has been coming to Shikamaru over the course of the last couple of years and telling Shikamaru exactly what he just deduced himself and what Boruto is now confirming that his brain didn't allow him to make those connections. But how does Boruto know that? How does Boruto know that Sarada has been kicking down the door of the Hokage's office every day for the last three years and yelling at Shikamaru about Boruto's presumed innocence? Well, unless Boruto was a toad in the Hokage's office, it would be impossible for him to know that. Since the first time that he saw Sarada in the last three years, we saw, and when the two of them weren't hugging so tightly that it felt like a snake constricting around Sumire's neck, they weren't talking about how Sarada has been begging Shikamaru to see Boruto's innocence for the last three years. And thus, the only two people who could have told Boruto about Sarada's rant to Shikamaru were Sarada and Shikamaru, who never told him about those rants. So somehow, Boruto had to get that information. And well, yes... It is a technical possibility that Boruto could have bugged the Hokage's office, as Boruto, like all other Otsutsukis, is able to mask his chakra signature, which would have allowed him to sneak into Konoha and even possibly the Hokage's office to place a toad somewhere. It is highly more likely and more narratively appeasing that Boruto has the ability to see the future. And that's really the best possible answer to all the lingering questions asking, why does Boruto know X? And it all ties back into his Jogon, which also makes perfect sense, because think about it. There's a character. In fact, there's two characters in the story who are able to use Shinjutsu, wretched from Shibai's dead body. These Shinjutsu, stolen from the god of the Otsutsuki, were given to Ada and Daemon. And one of those two 
Ada has a Shinjutsu in the Senrigan that allows for her to see into the past. Specifically, Ada's Senrigan allows her to see all of the events that happened on Earth up until the moment of her birth. And since Ada is now 19 years old in Two Blue Vortex, that means that anything that's happened in the last 19 years, Ada can know, giving her the perfect tool to look into the past. Any event, conversation spoken out loud, or sunny day can be found by Ada, as long as it happened in the last 19 years. Years. And that Shinjutsu was taken from Shibai's body. And what's interesting about Shibai is that while we don't have any great images of him, what we do know about him is that he had one light pupil and one dark pupil. Now, while it's probably pretty safe to assume that the light pupil is his Jogon, as the Jogon's very presence is not only tied to Shibai's astral form, but also his alive human form. I wanted to say meat form, but that felt wrong. But even though we know that one of his eyes is the Jogon, that doesn't mean we know what his other eye was. Because here's the thing, if we use Otsutsuki logic, the white pupil actually should probably be a Byakugan. But since the Byakugan and the Jogan are somewhat indiscernible from each other, at least in the manga, and since the Jogan is so tied into Shibai's strength, it's probably safe to assume that the light pupil is the Jogan. But it leaves us with some pretty massive question marks revolving around what his dark pupil eye is. Is it Ishiki's dojutsu, a regular non-Byakugan eye, or is the Senrigan. See, because if the Jogon is what we believe the Jogon is, if Shibai's two eyes were the Jogon and the Senrigan, he would not only be able to peer into the past through the power of the Senrigan, but also be able to peer into the future through the power of the Jogon, which seems like the kind of power that would be attributed to the God of Gods. And since somehow a Senrigan had to be schlopped off Shibai's body, this seems like a pretty logical conclusion to come to. And thus, what if the Jogon is the counterpart eye to the Senrigan, an ocular Shinjutsu that does the exact opposite thing as the Senrigan, an eye that allows the user to see all the events, presumably in the universe, but currently on Earth, until the moment of their death. And through the combination of these two dojutsus, whoever was able to use both of them would be able to see everything that either has happened or will happen during the course of their life. But the issue with seeing the future is that you can change it. Well, at least some versions of time travel apply this line of logic. See, let's hypothetically say that I see a future where this USB flies into my forehead so hard that I get a USB port for the rest of my life. Some versions of Future Sight will say that I, now knowing this future, can avoid that future and change what future looks like for me and the rest of the world, while other versions of Future Sight will say I can see that future, but I can't change it. I believe the former most likely applies to the Jogon, and there's evidence to back that up. See, if we assume that Momoshiki possibly through the power of his Byakugan and Boruto through the power of his Jogan are able to see the future. This would explain why Boruto's mental fortitude was able to throw off Momoshiki's prediction of Boruto's fate, which is why Momoshiki says it wasn't supposed to go this way. The X factor possibly of Sarada being able to shake Sasuke out of omnipotence broke the timeline that Momoshiki saw. And this would also explain why, even though Boruto is able to see the future, possibly as far as years in advance, why he isn't able to immediately win in all situations. Because while Boruto was able to see the future that lies ahead of him, that only allows for Boruto to essentially see what's going to happen until he deviates from the course of what he did in the sight he saw. And thus, this is why Boruto isn't able to make everything work out in his favor. And this would A, make sure that Boruto is knowledgeable about things that are happening on Earth that he may not be around to hear, like Sarada yelling at Chikamaru, since he has no ability to affect that reality from a distance, while B, being able to make sure that Boruto isn't insanely broken from the rip, as if Boruto is able to immediately analyze all possible futures and pick the best one, there would be no real person in the Boruto universe who could stand in a battle against him. And thus, while the Jogon does give Boruto a version of Future Sight, much like the Senrigan, that version of Future Sight is best used for the collection of information, as it would allow for Boruto to see everything that's happening on Earth until the moment of his death, so long as he doesn't massively change anything. That or Boruto is a time traveler who's actually Shibai, and the Shibai that ascended to a different dimension is actually Boruto in the future. And the Boruto that we have in Two Blue Vortex is actually a Boruto from the future trying to stop the version of himself that turns into Shibai and destroys the world. Is a theory that I've been emailed more than once, which is surprising. The explanation of that theory is for another day. But I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Do you believe that Boruto can see into the future? Tell me in the comments below. And while I guess down there, please, for me.
like this video, subscribe to the page, and hit that noti bell. Boruto comes back from the time skip with Future Sight, Rasengan Uzihiko, Flying Raijin, and what does Kawaki have? Somehow less.